Hi, in this video we will talk about how to create a box plot in Excel and then how to use exclusive or inclusive median options in your box chart and then finally we will describe what is exclusive and inclusive median options. So to get started we would create some data. So I've created some data for two hospitals, Hospital A and Hospital B and these are the ages of each patient who has visited hospital A or hospital B. So creating a box chart is simple. We just highlight all the data and then go to insert. I'm using Excel 365 but it will also work in other uh, recent versions of Excel. So go to recommended charts and I'm going to all charts and then at the bottom we have box and whisker so that's what we are selecting and here we go we have a simple box plot so this is for hospital a and this is for hospital b and then this is the age on the y-axis and if we highlight it we can make some changes to that so first of all i want to remove the fill so i don't want to get any fill color in that and then I want to go to the series option and under the series option I just want to play up with um, certain parameters so the first thing is the gap width is the gap between each of these series or categories so if I increase the gap you could reduce the size of individual bars or the boxes and then I want to show the individual points as well. So it's actually plotting each of those ages in, in the box itself. And then the last option uh, is the mean line. So the mean line is the mean which is um, connecting the mean of this to the mean of um, the other, other hospital. If I remove it and if I show you this, this is the cross actually signifies the mean or the average for each hospital and if I highlight it and if I don't want to see it I can remove it as well. Now at the bottom you notice that we have inclusive median option and the exclusive median option for the quartile calculation. We'll come back to that later but first of all let's try to do some more changes into this plot and if you notice that we have actually clicked show outliers points as yes but we don't see any outliers so basically the box <coughs> have the lines which are extending upwards or downwards called whiskers so these lines are basically um, showing the variability across the, the upper and the lower quartile so this being the lower quartile or Q1 and upper quartile is Q3 median is basically the second quartile so we have the first quartile the second quartile and the third quartile or the second quartile is also known as median. Now if I go and increase the age to a value say 200 you would notice what happened. Suddenly that 200 point has been recognized as an outlier and that has been placed up there whereas the, the, the remaining data remains within, within that box uh, plot. So all the values are still being plotted properly except the, uh, the, the value which was quite absurdly high has been put as an outlier. And to show you some more information on the, this let me revert back so that the chart becomes bigger and we can also highlight it first and then go to design and then add chart elements so you can play up with different parts of the, the chart the chart axis, the chart title, where do you want to play it place those uh, titles and uh, the chart title above or the center of the overlay etc and mainly I want to concentrate on the, the data labels and I want to place the data labels on the left side of the chart so you can see now that 23 is the, the, the lower value 99 being the upper value um, and then the median is 67 uh, sorry the median is 65 and the mean seems to be 67 in this case. So similarly 
if I go and copy this chart, I will just want to copy and paste the chart again. And now, if you notice that the option is exclusive median option, which is by default. So let me call this chart as, um, so let me put a label using exclusive media option, me median option. And in the second one, I'm going to go and change it to the inclusive media option. Suddenly you notice that your quartile range has changed. Nothing else has changed. Your medians remain the same. Only thing is your quartile range because it, it affects the way the quartile range is calculated. The Q1 or the Q3 is calculated. And so let me call this as um, using in inclusive media option chart. So we have noticed that there are slight changes. The, the Q3 has changed from 71.5, it has become 67. The lower quartile has become 45 instead of 39.5. So it has become a lot tighter or a lot um, compact. So the box has become a lot compact. Whereas the median actually remains the same because it doesn't affect how the median is calculated. The option only affects the way the lower quartile Q1 or the upper quartile Q3 is calculated. So let's see how that affects the calculation. So if I go to the next sheet, I've actually drawn five uh, small uh, data set which has five elements. So obviously this, the middle number is your median. I've colored it in red because we have odd numbers of um, observations. We have five observations. So, and they are actually ordered in an ascending order. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So if we go right in the center, the two records or two observations up, up below and two observations above that number 30. So the, the one number in the middle is actually the median. So that's well and good. A chart, of, uh, a similar chart actually tells us that the median is 30, that, that's okay. Now in the second one, I've again drawn two charts, exclusive and inclusive one. You would notice that the, the median option the external median option actually, oh, ex, sorry, the exclusive median option has the upper quartile as 45 and the lower one as 15. Whereas when we gave inclusive median option, it became 20 and 40. Let's see how it gets calculated. So the idea is that when you have um, the, the, the median, whether you're going to use the median to calculate the lower and the upper quartile, or not. If you're going to use it, then it's an inclusive option. If you're not going to use the median in your calculations of Q1 and Q3, then it's an exclusive median option. Just to go more into detail, so if I pick the, the lower numbers like 10, 20, 30, and I've colored the 30 as red because we know that this is median, and if I take the median of these three numbers, this is 20 which is represented on the inclusive media, median option because we have used 30 in, in our calculation. And similarly, if I go and try to get an exclusive median option for my Q1, I'm only going to take 10 and 20 and I'm not going to use 30. So in this calculation of the quartile, I'm only picking the first two numbers, which is excluding the median. So if I take the median of 10 and 20, it's 15. Similarly, if I want to do the Q3 calculation, I'm going to put the, the next three numbers, including the median. So if I take including the median num number and get a median of that, which is basically my um, Q3 in, in the inclusive media, median option, we get 40. And if um, on the same token, if I just do 40 and 50, which is excluding that uh, 30 number or excluding the median, we get 45, which is being plotted on this. So that's an explanation of the inclusive and exclusive median option for calculating your quartiles. So remember, it doesn't change your median. It only changes the way the quartiles of the Q1 or the Q3 is calculated, Q1 being the lower number 
or the lower line in this case in the box plot and Q3 being the, uh, the above um, boundary of that. And thank you very much for watching this video and I hope you have found this information useful and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.